Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil. You've now clicked on the Weather Now link, and let's jump right into it. Take a look outside right now. Still some sunshine through the area, although cr clouds have started to increase a little bit more uh, this evening, and that trend will continue with cloudy conditions overnight tonight. It was a beautiful day, though, with plenty of sunshine earlier, warm temps temperatures as well this afternoon. Let's take a look at your satellite and radar, though. So we're still quiet uh, in our immediate area, but farther away to our south and west. We're looking at a lot more showers and those will start to move through, especially during the second half of the day on Sunday. Some spot showers are possible tomorrow morning, uh, but then kind of after 3 4 o'clock, we'll be looking at more consistent rainfall, which will then continue into Sunday night, even early Monday morning as well. Your temperatures outside right now, especially farther inland, still fairly comfortable here. We're right around 60 degrees in Providence and 57 in Smithfield right now. Down at the coast, just a little bit cooler already in the low 50s. Um, so a little bit of a difference there if you're down towards the south shore at this hour. Let's take a look. So clouds move in first, as I mentioned, turning cloudy overnight tonight, but will stay dry. Looking at the first chance of showers kind of after 730 in the morning here could see some spot showers on and off. Anything for the first half of the day, though, I'm expecting to be very light and isolated, if anything. Uh, but then as we head towards the second half of the day, especially after 3 4 o'clock, we're looking at those showers becoming a lot more widespread from our west. And this trend will continue as we head towards the overnight. And as we head towards those overnight hours, kind of heading towards Monday morning here, could even see some downpours, even a rumble of thunder mixed in as well. Luckily, though, uh, any showers that linger on into the early morning hours on Monday, we're expected to be much drier for the rest of the day. So won't be a whole day event on Monday, uh, but certainly tomorrow on Sunday, second half of the day through the overnight, we're looking at those showers be becoming pretty consistent here. So for tonight, though, we're looking at lows in the low to mid 40s, so it'll be cool, a lot cloudier as well ahead of these showers tomorrow, but we'll be staying dry, and this will lead way to, again, cool but dry conditions to start for your Sunday morning. We do have that chance, as I mentioned, for a couple spot showers, especially towards the late morning, but we'll be mainly dry. So if you have any morning plans, not look at any high impact showers uh, for any of that as the main event won't be coming through until later in the day, especially after three o'clock. We'll look at that chance for showers start to increase exponentially, especially towards the late evening and overnight. Uh, kind of be looking at those widespread showers across our area with the chance for some downpours during the pre dawn Sunday into uh, Monday morning here, but then looking a lot drier, especially towards the late morning and afternoon for your Monday. So overall, a pretty quick moving system here will be more second half of the day tomorrow on Sunday and then lingering on until the morning hours on Monday. But if you are planning on traveling at all for any events tomorrow uh, late afternoon and evening, just be mindful that those showers are going to become more widespread and consistent as we head towards the end of the day. And as always, you can get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com.